We saw what a mutator does, and I hope you understood the strength that comes with mutators. We said that mutators are setters, so basically when you save a model, you can format the attributes before they are saved. Now let's talk about the getter in this case, which is called the accessor. So an accessor can format the attribute when we get it. As you can see, I'm already logged in as a user that we created in the previous video. The name here is Renato, and I will use the name attribute to show you as an example. So go in the user model and add an accessor. The function name is very simple. It starts with get. So public function get. Then you specify the attribute name and just add attribute at the end. So attribute. Again, this requires a value. So a setter sets the value and the getter gets the value. This is basic object-oriented programming. In order to get the value, we have to do what? Well, return it. So return. And now we can format our name attribute. I want the name to be all capital letters. The PHP function to do that is str to upper. And you pass the value. Of course, if you want, you could have even a more complex format. So this depends entirely on you. In this case, because this is an example, I will keep it simple. If we save and we reload, you can see that the name now is all capital letters. Exactly the result that we were looking for. If you want, you can also do something like, for example, return user column and then the value. So the result here is pretty obvious. It will just say user and then the name of the user, which is Renato. So you really have a lot of freedom here. You can do a lot of stuff with mutators and accessors. Let's take a look at the users table. So you can see that we have name, email, password, remember token, created at and updated at. And let's talk about the email field. I do not have many reasons why you might need an accessor for email, but just to have one more example, let me create one. So again, the same public function, get email attribute and the value. For this case, I want to get only the part before the at symbol. So return str t ok value and I want to return everything before the at symbol. Now open the home.play.php and add auth user email. So this will get the email of the logged user. However, remember that we are using this time an accessor, so it will not return the whole email. So if we go back and we reload, it only says Renato. So if we remove the accessor, let me do that. And we refresh again, you can see now we get the whole email. So you can see that by having the email accessor, we can even format the email attribute to our like. Hopefully it is clear the difference between an accessor and a mutator and the use that they have for attributes.